and welcome to part two of module four where I'm going to show you how to create an Instagram grid using Canva and also an app called Nine Square. So before I start I just wanted to show you what we created together. So as you can see that has been uploaded onto the TV Canva Club account what we created in part one of module four was the focus on having lots of fun and coffee and just a little practice one that I created so I could show you how to create one photo that is then cropped into different photos. Uh, this one is a particular one is a very long image and it's then cropped into three. The one I'm going to show you in a moment is actually going to be the equivalent of six Instagram photos okay so in order for us to get six Instagram photos what we do is we calculate how many photos we need across so that's the size across and then the size down so the way we do that is every single Instagram photo is 1080 pixels by 1080 so what we do is if you want to have three photos across you times 1080 by 3 so that would be your width and then your height would be 1080 by 2 and that would be your height so in this case I've already calculated it so 1080 by 3 ends up being 3240 pixels and 1080 by 2 ends up being 2160 okay so if we go to Canva now you'll see this is what I would like you to practice creating as a grid and I've put the sizes in are 3, 240 by 2, 160. So we're going to start with a blank canvas. So we put into create a design, you press create a design, it will come up custom dimensions. So you're going to put in 3, 240 by 2, 160 and you're going to press create a design. So you're going to end up with a blank piece of paper here and you do not have to follow this practice exercise but this is just something if you like to follow exact instructions you're going to end up creating something similar to this and we're then going to divide it with an in an app into nine different spaces so remember we're just practicing for now so nothing needs to be perfect but it's just something that you can have a play with so what I did is I went to photos and I put in macaroons because I love them <laughs> and I found an image that I liked which was here and so I put it across here and I took it all the way down and then what I did is I decided that I wanted some coffee. I know you're noticing a theme here. And I just wanted some coffee beans. Oh, yeah, here we go, just at the top. So remember, I'm, I'm using the free images. And what I did is I put the coffee beans across the top there. And I took them all the way out there. And then I thought, what else is down here? Oh, I like that. So I grabbed that. That's a beautiful coffee stain, probably hot chocolate. <laughs> and then I thought, oh, I like that too. And sometimes I use these sort of blotchy things to, I guess, fill in a, fill in a, fill in a few gaps. I might check out. I'll put that one there, but I think I might have used a different one. Oh, here we are there's a bit of splatter here yeah so we'll delete that one and basically put that there see what I do is I actually put it over some lines that are there just to break it up a bit and in this case what I might do is I might um, just duplicate it a bit and rotate it and put it up the top there as well so that's a rough idea of what it can look like and then what I did is because I want it to be simple I went to text I chose an existing template that 
was there I made it larger I popped it in the middle here I'll just move my coffee stain out of the way a bit and in there I wrote live your life and then as you can see it's meant to say and then love your life and that's it okay and then what you can do if you want to is you can uh, brand it in this case I'm just going to do my name sometimes I just I love to use lowercase it's a bit cool and place it there somewhere I don't want it to look like I'm putting my name everywhere <laughs> and that's it okay so let's have a look how well did we do well that's the one I just created now and that's the one I created earlier pretty similar and then what you do is you would download them download the image again as a PNG but what I want to do is I want to show you uh, an app that I'm going to uh, we're going to use in this particular program uh, module and it's called nine square for Instagram now it is a free app that I have uh, downloaded from Google Play but you can feel free to go and do your own research there are lots of different ones I just go and always read reviews to make sure that I'm not being bombarded with ads and things like that and it doesn't ever uh, ask for my details my financial details I don't want to have to put in a credit card or anything so I have found this quite useful but please do your own research so I'm going to show you how to use nine square directly from my phone so I'm going to share my phone with you now and we're going to go to nine square and I'm going to upload the image that I just downloaded we go to my gallery Okay, so in my gallery. Okay, so we're in my gallery there. And I'll just go back out again. Didn't like what I was doing. So in my gallery, and I'm going to press that. Now, if I was to leave it there, it would only give me three images across. So you can notice in the corner. Uh, up there it says three by one so I'm going to press three by two so that gives me the sizes of three images across and two images down when we talk about the Instagram sizing so you can see how you can create a grid with nine different photos all sorts of variations and then all you do is you press crop And what it's done now, as you've noticed there, it's actually given me the exact way that I need to post them. So I need to post that one, number one first, number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. And often what I do is I just screenshot that, so just in case I forget. But normally, if you know the image, you're going to be able to know where to do it. And then I save them all, and I'm just going to put Canva Practice, and I'm going to save it. So now that I've saved it, I'm going to go back into our new Instagram account where we are playing and sharing together and I'm going to upload one photo at a time. So in this case, let's try and find the photo. just having the phone loves getting a bit temperamental so we're starting at the bottom and all we're doing is we're sharing a cross again as we said what we've done before we're just sharing each photo in the sequence that we need to be sharing it in
sometimes what I do is I find that I just if I see it on paper it makes it a bit easier but um, this one's not too bad actually so we know that we're starting off with the coffee beans at the top and keep having a look if you want to so you know what it looks like and we know that the next one we've got is a splatter and the final one track of how many we've done here but let's have a look how many we've got and there you go so there is the entire grid created live your life love your life I hope that you've enjoyed this two-part module and I look forward to sharing more with you in the next module. Bye for now.